Hello and welcome into Zach's Picks. I'm Zach McCuller, back for another week. It's week eight of college football. Season's flown by. It's been an excellent one, and we're about halfway through. So I'm going. I have a few games, not many. Uh, we have a lot of teams off this week. Five in the SEC, including Georgia and Auburn. So there aren't that many excellent games. There are a couple of games that I threw in from outside the conference that are really interesting. So I think everything should be balanced out. First we have Arkansas Pine Bluff taking on Arkansas and it's obvious who's going to win. Arkansas is going to win and these cupcake games are boring. I don't know why they have them. It's just money purposes. So that takes up a lot of space and time but it should be an easy game for Arkansas. They really need it. They're on a three game skid. Anything to help pick up their spirits should be a boost. Next, we have Mississippi State traveling to take on Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt blew their one and only shot at getting a win for the rest of the season. At least that's what it looks like. They blew it last week when they allowed South Carolina to come back and win. Mississippi State's a 20.5 point favorite in this one. I think they'll cover. I think Vanderbilt's spirits are broken. They don't, they're not going to be playing passionate. I think Mississippi State, they're beat up after a tough defeat last week at the hands of Alabama. So this should be a sloppy game, but Mississippi State should uh, win this game handily and cover. Next, you got South Carolina traveling to take on Texas A&M, who's ranked 17th now. Texas A&M is a 19 and a half point favorite. That's that seems high, but in reality, it's a little low, under 20 points for what should be an easy win. I think Texas A&M will come out, play hard. South Carolina nearly lost to Vanderbilt last week. I don't think that they're going to have it anywhere near close. I think it's going to be A&M big, A&M covers, of course. Next, we're going to step out of the conference like I promised. And we have an interesting game, not so much by the two teams playing, but by the spread. It's Game day's going to be there. It's Oregon, who's ranked 10th, against unranked UCLA, but the Bruins are two-point favorites. I don't know how that happened. I really don't have much faith in UCLA. I think Oregon should come out here, and it should be a good game for a while, but then Oregon runs away with it and wins by two touchdowns. Next, we have an undefeated Oklahoma State team who was taking on unranked Iowa State. And once again, Oklahoma State, when they should be favored, has come out as an underdog. I think they're going to play well with all that disrespect coming, and so I think that gives them the motivation they need to come out here and dominate. Iowa State, like I said, a touchdown favorite. No chance for that to happen, even if they were to win. But I don't think they have much of a chance in this one. I think Oklahoma State's going to come out, play good. It might be a good game for a little bit. But Iowa State really doesn't have much to play for. So there's no reason for them to come out here and try and pull off an upset. But who knows? I think Oklahoma State's going to win. And the Cowpokes have a, a tendency to do what you don't think they're going to. Next, uh, we're going to step back in the conference. We have LSU traveling to take on Ole Miss. LSU came out and humiliated Florida last week. That was a real embarrassment for the Gators, who are on a bye again this week, as well as many others. LSU, they're unranked. They have nothing to play for. A bunch of players are injured. They don't have much of a chance to do anything. They're probably not going to a bowl game. Ed Orgeron is on his way out. I don't think they're going to come out here and do anything. Ole Miss is ranked 12th. They're nine-point favorites. They should come out here and cover that and have plenty of room to spare. And for my last game, I have a very a rivalry game, very heated rivalry. Alabama has not lost since 2006. Alabama, Tennessee, third Saturday in October. It's in Tuscaloosa this year. Alabama's a 25-point favorite. A little disrespect I threw at the Vols by scheduling them as their homecoming game. And Tennessee... Their quarterbacks injured, but from the way objects were hurled from the upper decks of that game last week, they're, and they need they have plenty of quarterbacks. Don't worry. They're embarrassed after last week. Do they have anything to play for? No, not really. Alabama has plenty. They have everything to play for, because if they don't look impressive, they could not make the. They might not make the playoffs. So does Alabama come out here and dominate? I think they do. I mean, it's a rivalry game. There are going to be emotions high. But I don't think that matters. I think Alabama comes out here and wins. Spread 25 points. They're going to cover that and with plenty of room to spare. And that's all I have for you. Like I said earlier, this was going to be a short slate of games, and it was. 
But every college football week, some unexpected things will happen. So keep your eye out for interesting matchups and interesting games, and have a good day.